Good morning everyone, this is not a clothing haul. I'm actually on my way to go and get laser eye surgery right now. I really wanted to make a video on this when I first started my channel as well because I have wanted to have laser eye surgery for the longest time and I think it'd be quite useful for people to know like how my experience has been so far in terms of consultations and then obviously I'll make sure I cover everything in this vlog so after the surgery and like recovery and stuff like that but both of my parents have had laser eye surgery and I've wanted to have it ever since I knew what it was really. I hate wearing glasses, like they never ever fit me. I don't know if anybody else can sympathize, but I have a tiny head. The glasses I have right now are from the kids section from Specsavers and they're still too big. They just fall down my nose and then I get like a headache and stuff because they're just sitting a bit lower down. I get them tightened and then they're too tight behind my ears and then I get more headaches and then contact lenses are just obviously they're not ideal especially if you're in front of a computer like 10 11 hours a day like I am it's not really the best so laser seem to be the best option for me we're just about 20 minutes away now we're gonna try and have breakfast and stuff first and then my appointments at quarter to 11 I'm really nervous I did not have a good sleep at all so I actually had my first consultation for laser eye surgery about a year and a half ago now so I went to Optimax and I went to Optical Express if people are aware of those I think they're probably the biggest ones in the UK they've got branches everywhere obviously they've got some in Manchester so I went to Optical Express first and I don't know if anyone else is familiar with them or has been for laser there but I thought they were really awful they had a very sales tactics approach which I just think it's awful when it's surgery like it's your eyes you only get one set of eyes right and um, we went for a consultation Ranj came with me and obviously because they put like those drops in your eyes that dilate your pupils so you can't like see close up or anything after so you need someone to drive you and like straight after they were like oh like when do you want to do it like pushing me for a day saying oh we've got this day that was like a good date for me but it was in Liverpool they're like oh we'll pay for your fuel and stuff and I was like no like I'll think about it it's literally it's a free consultation that's what it says on the tin kind of thing and I think the next day they called me or two days later they called me two weeks later they emailed me like they just wouldn't stop and it's like it's a very big decision um about a week or two after I went to Optimax and they were far better so that's where my parents had theirs done um, not salesy at all obviously I know it's been about for ages as well as that obviously when you go to these consultations you have to fill out a whole like health questionnaire about like family history and stuff like that and on the optical express one it didn't mention anything about like scars I don't think and obviously I have a keloid scar near my collarbone and for optimax they they asked that about scars or something to do with surgery I don't remember and then when they obviously they they print out your information and then you do the eye test and like they check the pressure and stuff and then they went through it and I told her all about it I was slightly annoyed because I went to optical express and their recommendation for me was LASIK the shorter recovery one and they says you're just about within the range not as much as we'd like you to be but you're just about in there so that's fine so I was like okay and then I went to Optimax they said that they would put me forward for LASIK because they said for LASIK because I have a stigma and obviously my prescription is like minus five point something they said that the curvature of your eye because the astigmatism is too much um, so we basically wouldn't recommend you for the LASIK so we'd recommend you for the LASIK however with LASIK there's a small risk of haze formation which I think it's like in your vision it'd be like there was like little bits of cotton wool or something like that so it's not going to be like completely clear but the surgeon I spoke to then when I had a consultation said there's less than a 1% chance of you getting case formation. So they were going to put me forward for that surgery so I was like fine so that's the 3 to 5 day one and this is they need a drug in order to do the surgery which is out of stock in the UK at the minute and it was like they were just going to have to wait for it to come in so I waited for a year, they called me again in November last year, 12 months later, they said they've got the drug in, because it's been 12 months you need to come in and do some more tests, so I came in and did some more tests, and then they said oh we'll do some more in January because we can't get the, the surgeon to see you, because after you have the tests, 
a surgeon has to review it before you have the surgery. The surgeon wasn't available till January, so they says we'll do some more tests in January because then we've got three tests on file and it's going to be like way more accurate. So I did that. I went to the surgeon assessment in January and he was like, I'm not going to put you forward for LASIK. I'm going to put you forward for LASIK because there's zero risk of the haze formation because of my keloid scar. A year ago, a surgeon from there told me to have one and then a year later, different surgeons tell me to have another and that's the one I'm going for. So we're just going to have to wait and see, aren't we? So me and Ranj are just in the car on the way to town now. We're both so sneezy, like our noses are so sensitive. I think for hay fever people, it's in full swing now. And we both forgot tablets. Neither of us brought water. We wanted to go and have breakfast in town, but the traffic is so bad. I'm not sure if we're going to have time, really. Really? I don't know about that. So I don't know where I got up to yesterday. It was probably having breakfast, maybe. Um, but I went to the appointment. It was absolutely fine. The operation went well. It was very quick. You're waiting there for quite a while, I have to say. Like, I turned up at, at the right time, at 10.45. And um, I don't think my operation was until about 12.20. So you, that was literally basically nearly two hours of waiting around. Um, you had to go and have just like another quick chat with the surgeon. They just check your cornea or the pressure or something on your eyes. It's literally like two seconds on one of the eye machines. And you're just waiting for ages and then you go into the theatre and you're literally on one table they slide you under one machine they say like your vision's going to drop you just need to look at like this black circle and um you know you do that and literally your vision does drop and it does not hurt like it's completely pain free the worst i'd say it is is if you close your eye and you put like your finger on your eye and you press for a bit that's basically what it is it's not painful it's just like a bit of pressure for maybe 20 seconds per eye they do that under one machine and like things do come close to your eye but like i says your vision drops and you're not really stressed like obviously you don't feel anything because they put so many drops in in your eye whilst all this is going on like at the start they put some in they get like cold cotton wool with like water on and like wipe all the excess away and they're just very efficient very quick everyone was really nice like they say what's well, it's going on like it's going really well fantastic we're gonna do this now alicia and they did that on one machine which i think was creating the flap because with lasik they basically create a flap on your cornea do the laser and put the flap back down so they do that on one machine then they slide you under a different one and that's the laser and they say okay you just concentrate on the flashing green light one eye one by one you can smell a bit of burning which is the laser but you don't see any like lights it's not like lasers in laser quest it's an invisible light so you literally you don't see anything and like i said it's blurry but things do come close to your face like they tape your eyelashes back and then they clamp your eye open but again you don't really see it like you'll feel a little bit of just light pressure from this plastic clamp thing but because they've numbed your whole eye up you don't really see it um but it was very very quick and then after that i hung about for about half an hour because the surgeon was doing about five six people that morning back to back i was downstairs outside the surgery room and this guy was just knocking them out like he was checking people at the gp like it must be so easy for him he must do them so much the surgeon i saw will have done about a stupid number like in the five figure thousands of these surgeries then he checked again your eyes just before you go and i was like it's starting to hurt like the pressure feels really crazy he says that is going to get worse he says just go home now and just rest and when i was in the car going home it was awful because the anesthetic started wearing off i just felt so groggy and like it hurt so bad i just had to keep my eyes closed with sunglasses on because obviously it's been really sunny this week i got home went to Lou, wash my hands and i put specific drops in the game you get four different types there's one that they give you which is just for the first 24 hours and that's an anesthetic one as soon as i put those in i felt so much better like it just numbed everything up again and then I did the rest of them and just went to sleep throughout the day, like literally dark room. Try not to go on your phone, definitely don't watch TV, don't try to read because that makes it so much harder. I couldn't really sleep in the day, I'm not really a day sleeper anyway. I didn't really sleep well until between 5 and 7. Spent the whole day in my pyjamas, eating, going back to sleep, taking all the drops. I didn't have paracetamol or anything, I think you can, I don't know why, I just I didn't. I was like, I'll just deal with it, I'm just at home anyway. I had the drops and stuff and then I went for my aftercare appointment this morning so you get four aftercare appointments at optimax so one's the next day one's one to two weeks after 
and then I think it's a month after and three months after I think. Went this morning, this says it's excellent, no infection, nothing like that. My eyes are red, this is kind of scary but you can probably see the this redness here in my eyes but they says that's normal, it will go in two to three weeks, I can't feel it. It's basically just pressure from the suction cup, um, it's burst blood vessels essentially, they just need to repair themselves over the next few weeks. So this is that's normal like i've driven today and it's completely normal my vision is excellent and it's only going to get better because my eyes will need to get used to the shape one annoying thing is at night you have to wear these protective eye shields and you look like i don't know bloody spider-man or an ant or something they're like these plastic things with holes in and they give you this tape and you've got to tape it and wear it at night for a week just so you don't touch your eyes in the middle of the night and again risk getting infection because it's so important when you have this, you can't touch your eyes after. When you go in the shower, you need to not let any of the shower water get in your face. You just have to be really careful. Like, I've not been putting eye cream on, just face cream. And again, really careful with my eye area. I'll try and insert a picture of the um, of the eye shields because they do look really funny. And they're, they're not very comfortable. I've not had good sleep with them. It's only been one night, but I haven't had good sleep with them. But apart from that, it's, it's all good. It's just crazy like it's surgery and obviously after one day i was completely fine like i woke up this morning and i was i was honestly fine like they feel a bit dry but you just have to keep putting those drops in and i've got so many it's not going to run out anytime soon i think you've got enough for just i suppose the duration that you need them for that's stated on the the piece of paper that you get with the explanation of what it all is and how often to put them in because some are four times a day some every two hours it just depends but aside from that it was a completely worthwhile experience completely worth the money as well so optimax do zero percent interest plans as well so i think mine actually worked out to be cheaper because optimax unlike optical express they have a flat price regardless of your prescription optical express they'll charge you more if your eyesight is worse which i think is ridiculous so i think at optimax it's right now i think their price is 3999 but when i first inquired it was 34999 so they told me they were going to honor that price because I inquired with them like a year and a half before this increase and then I got an email for £750 off as a deal and that was off the four grand so I actually got mine for 3249 put a deposit down and then basically I pay X amount for 12 months all at 0% so I think that's very much worth it and now I don't have to bother with glasses again I don't have to bother with contacts like when I go on holiday it'll be so much easier just even now like I come out of the shower and I'm like oh let me get my glasses on or get up in the morning get dressed, brush my hair, I'm like, oh, let me put my glasses on, I'm like, oh, they're, they're not here, because I recycle them all as well, which is good, I got to get rid of all my old glasses, so I don't regret it one bit. Hello again, it's been about two weeks since I had my surgery, I thought I'd do a little bit of a, an update of how I'm getting on two weeks later, so my vision is obviously still really good. I haven't actually been for my second aftercare appointment yet, it was supposed to be a couple of days ago, but I had to rearrange it, so instead of being between seven and 14 days after, it's going to be about... 18 or 19 days after which i think is fine as long as you're not having any issues with your vision which i'm not um first day back at work i did get like pressure around my eyes and a headache after a few hours because i just wasn't used to obviously being in front of the screen this says that's normal and then even lately i've spent a lot of time in front of a computer screen for work and it does start to feel like you just feel pressure in your eyes i think as the day goes on and that has made it a little bit difficult aside from that you need sunglasses everywhere you go outside like even if it's raining and it's bright you need them i'm struggling the tiniest bit now just because i've taken them off just to record this in the car but i've even worn them inside my house like it's a bit ridiculous because we tend to keep my front door open at home because we've got a porch just so it lets all the light in from the porch and i was going downstairs one morning i had to go back up and get sunglasses because it was just too bright and even in my kitchen one morning it was too bright and i'm there trying to make pancakes on a sunday thinking my eyes hurt because you just want to close them basically if, it, if it's a bit bright around so it's probably going to be like that for a good couple of months till your eyes adjust sometimes as well when i look at the screen for work it's not like it's clear but sometimes it's just too bright and even if you put like an eye shield kind of mode on your laptop or screen or whatever it doesn't it doesn't always help loads especially when you've been there like 10 11 hours it's not the easiest thing so that should all sort of go with time like they said it can take like a couple of months to adjust but apart from that it's great i can see in the shower i can see when i come out the shower i'd have to run for glasses or anything like that which is really good i don't even feel like 
I ever wore glasses now, which is crazy. I think that's everything I can say about my laser eye surgery journey. So I am going to bring this vlog to a close. Please do give it a like if it helped you because I couldn't find anything like this, especially UK based when I was like inquiring about laser eye surgery. So I hope it helps somebody. And let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. But until next time, take it easy. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.